Hey guys, Devans just ate his lunch and he may have overeaten a little. He blames all the ghee on the rotis for making them delicious. So, what are rotis made of? Rotis are made out of wheat. Let's understand the journey of wheat from the farms to our plates. This is a farm full of wheat ready to be harvested. Because the farm is huge, a harvester is used to harvest the crop. Once the crop is harvested, farmers make small bundles so they can be threshed. Threshing involves the separation of grain seeds from the non-edible stems or chaff. This separation is either done by hitting the bundles of wheat against the floor or by stomping on them with some help from animals like cows or buffaloes. After threshing, we obtain grain seeds covered in husk and the chaff is left behind. The grain is then separated from the husk. This is done by a process called winnowing. Farmers pour the grains covered in husk into the winnowing machine. The machine then separates the grains from the husk, after which we get pure wheat. These grains are then dried well to keep them from spoiling easily. After drying, they are stored in jute bags or metal bins. Large quantities of grains are stored in huge granaries or silos. A granary is like a storehouse for grains and silos are large metallic cylinders used to store grains. Either way, soon after, vendors buy these stored grains. After this, they reach our markets, which is where they're sold to us. Our parents visit these markets, buy these grains, come home and turn them into hot and nutritious rotis for us. And that is how a roti reaches from the farm to the plate. Quite a journey, isn't it?